what happens if you can't Kegel properly? But first, hi, Madeline Golick, pelvic health physiotherapist, and I want to talk about what happens if you cannot perform a Kegel properly. Will pelvic floor physio not work for you? So I want to share with you a story of a client that I saw today. I had seen her while she was pregnant and in that initial assessment, we were having a really difficult time getting her to contract specifically in the pelvic floor. Despite all efforts, tapping on the muscles, trying different visualization and cues, she was not able to get a proper pelvic floor contraction. Because she wasn't having any pelvic floor symptoms, I told her, let's just wait till you've given birth because we can explore possibly using electrical stimulation as a way of getting the pelvic floor to contract. Obviously, we don't do that during pregnancy, but it was an option for her postpartum. So then I evaluated her postpartum, and again, we could not get a proper pelvic floor contraction, and she was also experiencing bladder-related symptoms. We were not able to jump into the electrical stim because that requires inserting a probe and there was some issues with some scar tissue uh, from stitching from birth so what we decided instead is that we're gonna try to impact the pelvic floor indirectly so we targeted the compensation muscles and we targeted muscle groups that would put pressure on the pelvic floor without actually getting the pelvic floor to move and so today was her third session postpartum. We have been targeting different core-based exercises and she was reporting to me today that her improvements are nine out of 10. She stopped leaking with walking. She was able to almost every time catch herself before a cough or a sneeze. So she was able to kind of uh, utilize her muscles in a way that supported uh, her to not have a leak with coughing and sneezing. The only time she experienced something was if she wasn't quite quick enough to kind of grab a hold of it. And that's just like through repetition and practice. And so this whole story is really just to share with you that there are a number of different ways that we can target the pelvic floor. We can do it indirectly. We can utilize electrical stimulation. In this case, we didn't need to go that particular treatment route. Uh, so there are ways that we can improve your symptoms even if we can't get you to perform a kegel properly be sure to follow along my page for more exercises tips and information about pelvic health